shoes, 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 shoes. So these are my honey lemon shoes. I bought the base shoes off of eBay. It might have been Amazon, but I feel like it was eBay. This was the brand of shoe I bought. It's the style of Tanya in the gray color. And I bought a size eight just because they didn't have half sizes and I'm a seven and a half, so I went bigger and I just put some padding on the bottom so my feet didn't hurt as much anyway, so it kind of worked. So yeah, once you get a base shoe to start with, and I choose to go with pretty cheap stuff because I'm gonna be painting it and only using it for cosplay, then you can get started in altering it. So the first thing I did was paint the shoes the correct color and I mixed a purple, a red, and a black fabric paint to achieve the right color purple. I used Warbler to create the heel piece. I made a pattern and just started to heat it up and apply it to the heel. And as you can see, it doesn't fit perfectly because of the shape of the shoe. But what I ended up doing was just taking out my tin snips, cutting it down, and just reworking it until it was smooth. I added some super glue under the Warbler just to make sure it stayed in place on my heel. And then using wood glue, I'm priming the Warbler before paint. I created the toe pieces as well as the three band pieces that go up the shoe. The same way I made them all out of Warbler and fitted them to the shoe and then primed it with wood glue. I'm spray painting the bands a lightish pink color and a gloss. And I'm also spraying the toes here, but that's just to get them a base color that is smooth. I do go over it with the same color of the shoe later. Studying her shoes very closely, I figured out they actually have a lot of different colors to them. So the shoe itself is a medium plum purple with the bottom and the toe piece being a darker purple. The heel is a dark pink and the three bands are actually a lighter pink. To seal the paint on the shoe, I'm using this polyacrylic protective finish in clear satin. And I'm only painting this on the hard pieces of the shoe. If you paint this on the piece that is fabric and is going to bend, it's going to crack. Yep, so that right there is how I made these lovely shoes. Um, they stayed on pretty well, like the super glue hasn't given off on any of the bands or the toe pieces. It did during Long Beach Comic Con, but I really blame it on the heat. I wore these all day at Kamikaze as well, and they are in perfect condition still. They've got a little bit of scrapes on them, on the toes and stuff, but that's just from walking. For the most part, the polyacrylic sealed them very, very well, and I see no like discoloration or scratching really. For the most part, like they look pretty brand new still. So don't forget to check out the playlist. I will link it in the description below, and that is where you will find all of the other tutorials for my Honey Lemon cosplay. So thank you very much for joining me today. Don't forget to like, favorite, and to subscribe to my channel for more cosplay videos and tutorials. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Doesn't he look like he's bundled up in a turtleneck? You look so cute, bird. It's keeping his wing in place as it's broken and it's healing. But it is healing. He's doing better. He's just kind of kind of quiet and... Are you falling asleep right now? Okay. He's just maybe going to fall asleep through this video.